for tell your big boy to tell them pay your people bill be for real swore And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Cleveland Guardians. Now it's the rookie DH, Parker Meadows. The designated hitter, Parker Meadows. And a pitch. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Thomas right there to make the ground. And there's one down. Now the number two hitter, Kerry Carpenter. The two one. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Not even close there. And it's three and two. Out to short. Throw to first is in time. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerlin. The center fielder, number eight, Matt Two down, nobody on. Center field. And it falls. Pretty good spot, hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball, tight to the body. Run around the goal, pitch misses. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. Swing and a miss, three and two now. Runner at second, two down, here in game two. Right side, Noel in position, and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Back here in Cleveland, now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Kicks and deals. Drill to right, way back there, and that is gone. And this place is rocking. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's one nothing. Now it's the Guardians DH, David Fry. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Throw on to Torkelson. One gone, bottom half of the first. Now it's Jose Ramirez. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're here in game two of the ALDS. Hey. Next pitch is outside. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Goes down looking. And now it's Josh Naylor, the 2-1. Swing and a ball popped up. Keith under this one. Makes the play and it's out number three. Set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second the baseman, second Colt Heat. Singy, here's a fun nugget. Through the 2022 season, only eight players ever had at least three career oh. postseason hits, where all of those hits were for extra bases. And you're one of them. There's a swing and a drive. And that one is off the wall. The throw into second, but he's in there easily. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next to hit, Spencer Torkelson. Well, no, not to brag, Boog, but my postseason extra base hits were pretty special, too. Two doubles off of Pedro Martinez in 2003 and an RBI triple off Freddie Garcia in 2000. 
And it's second. Two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. I wouldn't get okay. too puffed up about that postseason extra base hit thing, Singy. The all-time leader with four is Ken Holtzman, a pitcher, and one of his hits was a homer. Yeah, Boog, I'm sure he was a position player, though, before he started pitching. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. And now the lefty battling here as he fouls it away. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Naylor makes the grab. And there's one down. That was a good hard fastball with some that's nice that's ride that's up that's in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. And he deals. Got him. And there's two away. Trey Sweeney up now for the Tigers. Two and one now. And another ball. Two outs. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. We head to the bottom of the second. Digging in, Lane Thomas. The veteran. To the right side. Tosses to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Here's Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Ground ball, Torkelson. And he handles it himself for the out. Two outs, bases empty. At the play, John Kenzie Noel. Up the middle, and that chance handled. In there safely. Four nailer at the plate now. And a pitch. Late on that fastball. Noel off of first with two away. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Out of the third no, inning. No, no. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Rogers. Jake. And the pitch. That one close rule the ball. And that's ball two. Rogers started after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and James Kingsley says he won around. Check swing on the 2-2. Appeal to first. And no swing, says James Kingsley. The pitch. And so the lefty 
allows the leadoff free pass. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. Jimenez drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one down. And next to hit for Detroit, Gary Carpenter. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And a swing and a miss there. One ball. Two straight. And up next for Detroit, Matt Weirling. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Bottom of the inning. Here's Brian Rakio. The shortstop takes the ball. Got the back going too soon in strike two. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Steven Claw digs in for the Guardians. That one catches the zone, and the count one and two. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming no, in. But so good hard good. to get on top of as a hitter. That one to first, one at second. Return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. We're in the second game of this division series. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Riley Green. Here's a 1-1. And he swings over the top there. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Colt Heat up now for the Tigers. One down, base is empty. Liner, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Rudder takes off. Pitch is low. Bro, and they got it. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Swing and a pop-up. The minutes. Has this one sized up? And makes the play, and that's out number three.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Jose Ramirez. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Josh Naylor. One out, base is empty. Next pitch is outside. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 20. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. It's a is empty. Here's Lane Thomas. Strike two. Oh, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now when I went back to do some research looking at metrics like base runs I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22 game winning streak and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Still two and two after the foul ball. Oh, and that's outside. Really good take especially with two strikes. Hey. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now a chance for Andres Jimenez. Second the 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. Two out, space is empty. It's inside. Outside, and that is ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Comes a 2 2. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Cracks his bat and pops him off. Drops into the glove, and that is the third out of the inning. We go to the top of the fifth, and now Zach McKinstry. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. to kick the pitch oh. and another ball the pitch okay. that one is upstairs now in this three ball count down in the ball game you've got to be very selective take your walk if they'll give it to you this one high in the air to left center He's got it. Run away. And next up for the Tigers, Trey Sweeney. Up next for the Tigers. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. The one two. High fly ball out into left center field. Flips it away for the out. That's out number two. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. Loves it on the dive to his knee. The throw and the money. Nice play. to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. The catcher. The wind of the pitch. 
Swing and a miss, and now two and two. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but he needed to step out to get to that one. He's going to have to tackle back up. He wants to have a good at bat. The line and the pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. One up, one down. Brian Rocchio now at the plate. Just off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and deals. And another ball. Ninth pitch of the at-bat to next. Swings and misses. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. This one in the air center field. Dearlin makes the play, and that is that. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the DH, Parker Meadows. And now two and one. Well, these Tigers show great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Swings, he misses, struck him out. Now it's the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. The pitch. Just missed. And yeah, that's in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now here is Matt Veerling. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. The pitch. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. And now the DH, David Fry. Kicks and fires. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And the next pitch is way outside. The lefty fires. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Carpenter ranging back. Hits the fence. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat.
And he deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Man at second. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Two two now. Right side, hard hit. Torkelson takes it to the back. One away, bottom of the sixth. Number 73 will take over here. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And up next for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. Check swing, went around, and a count one and two. And a swing and a line drive in the right field, and a base hit knocks in a run. Through with the RBI. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And that one is lifted in the air on the move to the alley. They got it for out number two. Here's the second now base for Andres Jimenez. One run across in the frame so far here in the bottom of the sixth. Next pitch misses way outside. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Joey Cantillo. Here's Riley Green. The Tigers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Left hand batter waits. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss with a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Heath. Two one, and another ball. Base is empty, one away. Here in the late stages of game two, fall off foul. That one the other way. Snags it for the second out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Next pitch is outside. Hard hit to third. Slings to first, and they get Torkelson for the out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Will Vest. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So in now for Cleveland, John Kenzie Noel. This kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The 2 1. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. And there's one away. And next is the Guardians catcher, Bo Nail.
Here's a 1 1. And a pop up right side foul territory drifts towards it. He's got it and there's two away. Two outs base is empty. Stepping up for the Guardians. Brian Rocchio. Well, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited came out of his mechanics and instead of driving that ball somewhere he popped it off. Unfortunate for him. Now on to Torkelson. Guardians go down in order. Welcome back and a new arm of the mound to start the eighth. Tim Aaron gets an opportunity to score off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Here's the third baseman, Zach McKinstry. Next pitch misses, ball two. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. This one popped up. Gets under it. Corrals it. And there's one down. And next to him for Detroit, Trey Sweeney. Trey. The Guardians leading by three. And we're at the top of the eighth. Swings and misses. One strike two. And down on strikes he goes. Now two out. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. That one missed. Swings three down. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The line of the pitch. That one way inside. And he walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Awkward swing there from the big left hand hitter. Off balance as well. There's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't hey! swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tyler Hunt. Bring it in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next oh. one misses. The count now two and two. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. David Fry digs in for the Guardians. One one now. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter.
and a pitch. In the dirt, and the count is filled up. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Here's Jose Ramirez. Two strikes. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Got him looking. Two away. Jackson Joe gets the call from the pen. Now, First. So next will be the four hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. Ball to strike. High fly ball, right field. Carpenter on his way over. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Emmanuel Classe. I think Closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. One, two. Fights it off. He'll see another. Righty to the plate. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering is down low. Wouldn't chase that time. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And they'll do it again. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Right handed reliever. Battling here as he fouls it away. Payoff pitch. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. And that one's gone. And they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. So digging in, Matt Veerling. Righty delivers. That's the ball. Always exciting one, to one. see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Three, and two. another ball. And that's ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. Riley. With the tying run at the plate, you're at the top of the ninth. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stand on the double play right here. Left hand hitter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, number 36. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Here's the second baseman, Colt Keith.
The tying run at the plate. Hard ground ball, base now. Lead runner around second. Here comes the throw, and he's into third on the slide. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Now the batter now, Spencer Torkelson. First and third, one down. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now the third baseman, Zach McKinstry. Two on, two outs. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Now three on Right through there for a strike. 3-2, two, two out, going out first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The Tigers down to their final strike. Swinging a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. Got it! 